This is Josh Allen's biggest opportunity to showcase his MVP status for 2022. Hey Bills Mafia, welcome to my channel, Bills News Consolidated. In today's video, we gotta discuss Aaron Rodgers, two-time MVP, back-to-back -back seasons, going against our guy, Josh 17, front runner for NFL MVP in 2022. Sunday night football in front of all the NFL eyes, Josh Allen will be going against last year's NFL MVP, Aaron Rodgers, who has statistically struggled so far far this season and also who came out last week criticizing his own teammate. Aaron Rodgers kind of overstepping the boundary of being a player, kind of stepping into that coaching realm, talking about snap counts that players shouldn't be getting the snap counts that they're getting. And I don't think Josh Allen would ever do something like this. The NFL is the ultimate team sport. And when you have a player overstepping its boundaries like Aaron Rodgers into that coaching realm, talking about certain players not getting certain snap snap counts. I really think that's going to rub players the wrong way. Could potentially create some turmoil with the Packers. To me, an NFL MVP brings together the team. It makes everyone around them better. I know it takes two to tango. Aaron Rodgers really hasn't had the wide receiver help. Losing Devontae Adams, Bills will not be going against Devontae Adams this game. That's another reason why Josh Allen is the front runner and could potentially win NFL MVP this year. It's because of all the help and weapons that he has. Look at Stefan Diggs. Dawson Knox, Gabe Davis, all these weapons, even Isaiah McKenzie, rookie Khalil Shakir getting involved. This is an opportunity for Josh Allen to prove himself immediately after a bye week where the Buffalo Bills definitely took time off. Players flew all across the country. They had a Halloween party. There was definitely time away. I want to see how quickly the Buffalo Bills can transition from being off last week to now playing this game, Sunday Night Football, against last year's MVP and Aaron Rodgers. This is a great opportunity for Josh Allen to rise to that occasion. Josh Allen has 383 more passing yards, six more touchdowns, one more interception, but five less passing attempts than Aaron Rodgers this year. And that's not even discussing Josh Allen's ability to run it. 257 rushing yards on the season so far, two rushing touchdowns, hurdling guys. And the struggles for the Packers have been on offense with that 19th overall offense, but they had the seventh best defense in the NFL. So Josh Allen has an opportunity to showcase his talents going against the seventh best defense in the NFL on Sunday night. Knowing that Green Bay has Aaron Rodgers, knowing that their backs are up against the wall, and knowing that he is 13-0 undefeated on primetime football, Aaron Rodgers is going to come out flying and slanging that football. And I really think it is up to Josh Allen to have a fast start in this game, to get this team up to speed coming off that bye week even if it's a quarter delay I've been saying it all week Josh Allen we need a spark someone needs to spark this team I think Josh Allen will definitely prove he's this year's NFL MVP how many times countless times this year he has put this team on his back the leading rusher for the Buffalo Bills and as I mentioned at the beginning of this this is just a much different team than the last time we played the Packers and got shut out 22 to 0 back in 2018 Josh Allen went 16 to 33 151 yards, two interceptions, no passing touchdowns, a fumble. He got sacked seven times for 64 yards, a quarterback rating of only 4.9. That's right, only 4.9. Josh Allen had LaShawn McCoy, Chris Ivory. He ran the ball five times for only 19 yards. His top receiver in that game was tight end Charles Clay, who we all remember for that famous drop against Miami Dolphins. Four receptions for 40 yards. We also had Zay Jones as a young developing player, four receptions, 38 yards. Kelvin Benjamin, Jason Kroom. As you can see, Josh Allen is going to benefit from having guys like Stefan Diggs, Gabe Davis, Dawson Knox, even Devin Singletary, James Cook catching the ball, Khalil Shakir. This is a much improved team. Also defensively, in 2018, the Buffalo Bills were the number one passing defense, but we were only 16th in the NFL at stopping the run. Hard to win NFL MVP when you're on a losing team, and Josh Allen is surely benefiting from having one of the top defense this year. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe for future content. I'm going to be going live during the games, doing the play-by-plays. This week, we're going to be doing some stream yards, so you guys can actually join the chat too as well. Comments, questions, concerns, drop them below. Hope to hear from you soon. Go Bills! Peace!